Okay, what I am going to do, I am going to show you guys what I have in my makeup bag. I've had some of it from Christmas and some of it from old friends. I got this. There's eyeliner. This thing always falls out. There's this. There's um an eye thing that goes like that to your eye. Face mask. all this. This is what I got from a Christmas from my sister. I got this from from the too. There's nail polish. This is another Christmas present that I got for my sister. I got all of this for my sister. I got this from a bitch, but it's nice. This is everything that I got from my sister. I love my sister. And I got this. And I got this. Ah, uh, it won't.
eyeliner. White mascara. And that's all I have in there. <sighs> and yeah. And uh, thanks for watching. That's basically all I have for you guys. Um, that's all. Thanks for watching, everyone. I hope you all had a wonderful holiday, and, um, yeah, that's about it. Um, I hope you all are staying safe, and, yes, this is going on my YouTube. Um, I haven't posted for a while, and yeah, I know that I haven't, um, uh, just things has been happening, so I didn't, I don't really post. And, uh, I try to post more often now, since now I got the free time. I also started a new job, so that's one thing that is keeping me wonderful and, um, refreshing. And I'm also, uh, starting to take off toxic people, um, like, when people are mean or something, I just take off the toxic people. My neighbor, who stole off of me, yet she stole my Nintendo Switch, and uh, she stole it right out of my house. And I was like, "Fuck you!" And now, like, I have I don't want nothing from her. I have the freaking pride flag right behind my jet flag, but like, I really don't want it. I'm not even, like, I don't have no problem with bisexual people. It's just, she was trying to make me be bisexual. And I told her that I am straight. I am not bisexual. And, um, yeah, she just didn't like the fact that I was better. I had a job. That I worked. And... Then I would stop helping her because all she does is do pills. And her name is Sandra. She's a stupid bitch and she has a 16 year old child. And I decided to be nice and get her a freaking iPhone 12 for her birthday. And then she decided to pull this shit. So I was like, give me back my phone. So... Um, yeah, so I just stay away from the toxic people and watch out who you put in your, in your house, because some people are just not meant to be in your house, and sometimes the best thing is to just kick them out, because they don't deserve to be in there. It's just, um... 
what's hard about it is that you trust that person and you trusted them to not do that shit to you and then they do it and you never think that oh it was her but she she even planned it too i was like too stupid to freaking do that i was like i should have hid my nintendo switch like i shouldn't have like kept it in plain sight but like again i didn't i wasn't planning on someone um stealing it and especially a, a friend that you thought oh you could trust and it was everything that she's like ever told me is a lie she owes me 230 for that phone plus the contract and she still hasn't paid not one cent and uh she owes me fifteen dollars that i lent her it's just all she asked for is lots of things she asked for money she asked for food she asked for everything it's like excuse me you get child tax you get more money than i do it's like that's stupid and um yeah, it's like, you get more money than I do, and I work, and she steals for from the the place I work at. She steals from them, and I was like, one day she'll get caught. I told the people that I work with, oh, she steals. I've seen her go to the back thinking that the cameras don't work, but the cameras do. That's why they're there. They work. And uh, I was like, one day she will get cut, and that's that's all I'm saying. That one day she'll get her medicine, and that she'll get someone in her house, and someone that still that was still off of her. She she's a meth head. She was, and still is, and um. And drugs like uh, coke I'm pretty sure she's still doing coke um, and she also she also has a 16 year old and she's doing drugs and she's irresponsible like she just lives down the street from me like I could tell her tell you guys her address but like it's just stupid um, but anyway, this became, uh, this became like, um, a toxic, no, like a conversation that I was telling you guys, reason why I wasn't being, I wasn't active and I wasn't, um, on YouTube or anything is because a lot of things were happening and I had to get my life in order too. So, um, I'm stable. I'm good. Get to meet my little nephew. I got to meet him. Got to spend time with my sister. Had a great Christmas. No drama, no fighting, no nothing. Just a fantastic Christmas I had. It's just, it was really good. And uh, I was really glad to see my nephew to wake up on Christmas with him. And, yeah. I was just really happy on Christmas. And uh, for once, I had a good Christmas. I had, like, a fantastic Christmas. It was one of the best Christmas that I've ever had in quite a while. Like, there's no arguments, no nothing. And um, I just, uh, I hope I can do that again, like, next year too but we'll see and I'm pretty sure I'll be talking with my sister um because I don't have a bitch that's trying to make me not talk to my sister like I was robbed from getting to meet my sister my dad stopped that when we were kids he didn't let us 
I have a, any relationship with her, with us, with their, with each other. So, we were robbed for our sisterhood. And I'm not going to like get some bitch and let her ruin it. No. And my sister is really good to me. And uh, my nephew also really loves me too. And uh, yeah, that's what I think is. And I know that my nephew loves me because every time I come over, he always wants me to play with him and stuff like that. He's such a cute child. I just love that I get to know him and I get to know my sister and I get to have a relationship with her and that no one will ever stop that. No one is ever going to stop that and no one can because we're over 18. No one else, no one can, our father cannot tell us, oh, you can't speak to each other. Who are you? I'm 21 years old. I will speak to whoever the fuck I want to speak to. You are not my dad. You were never there for me. Why the fuck should I listen to you? It's just common sense. It's like, if you weren't there for your child, what makes you think that your child's gonna listen to you? Hmm? Yeah, I may be your child, but it doesn't mean I have to listen to you. He's done a lot of hurt to me, and uh, I'm gonna just leave it at that. And... I'm just glad that I can finally get to know my sister and uh, have a bond with her and our relationship will be way much better because then we'll be good. You know, I wish we grew up with each other, but it is what it is, right? So, um, but anyways, I'm going to end this video. It's starting to be a long video so uh i'm going to um post this and i'm gonna leave the comments on if the comments work so you guys can comment down what you want to see um and i will talk to you guys later see you in the next video Bye bye oh yeah love you guys like subscribe and comment Bye-bye.